Hey, look, it's Isle Delfino. No, it's Cloud Cuckoo Land. Hey, well, that's not Crocka Crumb. It's all right, though. Although this may be one of my least favorite worlds in this entire game, we gotta get it done. And it's the last one. We're so close to the end, I could taste it. Well, yep, this is a disjointed mess of a world. And first things first, I don't really, I, honestly, all the times I've replayed this game, it doesn't retain in my skull bone. But we're taking Solo Kazooie back to the entrance with springy step shoes. We gotta go get those. Also, this world, I don't know if it's just because it's a massive sky zone thing and there's a lot to load, but look at this. It's like a giant black screen for 13 seconds. Or something ridiculous. But yeah, screw that flower. It's probably faster to just do this. Ooh, I will take a clockwork egg. Now take the springy step shoes that we got the last time we visited here and back into these weird lag flowers. Look at that cheese in the distance. That's for Banjo Solo later on. All right, then come back over here to this high jump bar. Hi, two. Fancy a little physical exercise, chicken legs? Yeah, I've got the wrong person. I'm Mr. Fit and I'm really fit, I am. So fit, in fact, that if you can beat me in three events, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice. It is, actually. As you can probably see, event one is the high jump. The bar's set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over. Watch and learn, buddy. Although I gotta be careful with Super Banjo, because Kazooie goes flying. There we go, that's how it's done. Whoa, look at those golden borders. Yep, so this little pachyderm or whatever the heck it is, where's those gold borders again? There's three events, as he just said. Next is the sack race. So yeah, you can see we gotta do Banjo solo, but there's a little setup before we can even get Banjo to where that platform was. Because as you can see, this place is just a mess of random platforms. Um, let's just do some gliding. There's the fake Mumbo Skull. I do want to go there, but... Oh, let's go to the trash can first. Yeah. There's a honeycomb piece on the top of this trash can. Hopefully, I can maintain this height. Get a clockwork eggs ready to go, because there's also something we have to do with one of those. This world, you use a lot of clockwork eggs. What? Yep. Yeah. I had Mexican for dinner last night. There we go. Get out of my way. Don't even think about it. Get over here. That's what happens. All right, so behind the trash can, we'll send our little remote chicken. Because there's four switches that you need to explode a clockwork egg on, hidden without this wor throughout this world. This is number one. Inside the trash can, we're about to be in there too. But that has a four on it. Why? Because the Super Stash! We gotta unlock his combination by bombing four switches, and the last number is a four. Can you guess what the number's gonna be? I don't know. Jeez, man, seriously, the loads. Alright, so now the front of the trash can. This is why. I... <laughs> Whoops. This is why I still wanted to be Dragon Kazooie, because I'm gonna use Fire Eggs, because this is another shooting mini game in here. So might as well use our infinite fire eggs. And then I think after this, I'm going to get regular Kazooie back. Because we're approaching the end of the game anyway. And kind of like coloring a coloring book, the appropriate colors. For the end of a game, I want the characters to look like they're supposed to look. Snacky fatty chucks! But anyway, if we come up here, is this the last? No, there's one more. Well done. What's up, Guffo? Trying to talk to you. A visitor? Guffo doesn't get many visitors in his trash can. I'm not surprised, it stinks! I prefer to think of it as an acquired aroma. Perhaps you can help me, I'm facing eviction from my trash can by the health and hygiene department unless I clean the place up. Shall I tell you about the problem? No. Will you help me by killing 50 points? See, he tells you anyway. Yes, it's the same thing. Let's go. Find a corner, get your fire eggs, and hope for the best. Same deal, green or two, blue or three, red or one. And we just gotta score 50 points. There's also sour milk with 2D on the background. We'll look at that when we get through here. But yep, I had Mexican for dinner last night and that was pretty good. I like how they give you free chips and salsa, like endlessly. And the salsa they give you at Mexican restaurants is so much better than anything you can buy in a store. There's nothing that watery thin. Everybody's all about chunky salsa. And I'm the complete opposite. I like that soupy goodness. Like spicy water or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I like it. 
And I always get two enchiladas with chicken and a taco. And it's always good. And the beer is really cheap at Mexican places, too. You can get, like, a giant pitcher for, I don't even know, really cheap. Great, you killed 73 points. Yeah, it wasn't, didn't take too much. Why is there another Jinjo yelling help? It can't be real. I got the real one in here. 76. I do not want to fancy anything more in this trash can. Get me out of here. Although I do want to look at this. Missing 2D, last seen in Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, why is she not in this game? We went through all the, that life to save her in the first one. Seriously, dude, the loads. Uh, oh, flight pad, that's what I was looking for. There's Wumba. I don't have any um, Globos, though. I seem to recall them being a little tricky to find in this place. Alright, so I am now aimlessly wandering. I have an idea. Hey, there's the dude. We gotta plant our beans that we got last time. There's the bean planting spot, but I don't know if Solo can do it. Oh! Oh yeah, these guys too. Every time you use a flight pad, we gotta take them out later. But these eggs are really important. Ah, crud! I can't do the little bill drill move to stop the flight early. But we wanna hatch these eggs. This is important for Solo Banjo so he can reach these airborne platforms. Wow, that's a rare Flotus Floatium creature, if I'm not mistaken. What is this, Harry Potter? But yeah, you gotta shove those in Banjo's backpack in order to get him to float across the way. I wonder, can Kazooie plant the bean? Of course not, it must be in Banjo's backpack. There's the real Mumbo. Question is, where's the Globo? I could jump down there, I feel like it's on that ledge, but let's go through the main cavern. Like I said, I don't know anything about this world, hardly. I always forget every time I replay this game. It's not really a bad world, it's, I don't know, there's something about it. This thing we don't even need, but might as well, I'm here. We already got the move across the way that this is what's supposed to carry Banjo over. Two. Now, which entrance is it? Well, there's this. I hear a Jinjo, I think this is a Jinjo. The last black one, yeah! The black Jinjo family is complete. Getting close, man. All right, let's get together here. All together now. Oh, jeez, is this the one that leads to evil Mumbo? I hope so. That's like the best part of this world. Yeah, this is the only world that has two Mumbo skulls. Because the boss of this world is a fake Mumbo. And you can tell if this ever loads here. It's you know it's the fake Mumbo if the Jinjo at the bottom is real. So yeah, since the Jinjo was real, the Mumbo is fake. And in the real Mumbo house, the Jinjo is fake. What's up, Mumbo? This is your last world. Hello, Banjo. Mumbo has big surprise for you. Ooh, I like surprises. Mingy Jongo, Crafty Shaman Impersonator. <laughs> Foolish bear, you fell straight into my trap. I'm not that pathetic shaman you think I am. I'm Mingy Jongo, and your worthless quest ends here. As you can see, there's no escape, and resistance is too time. All right, you're gonna get it in the neck. And everywhere else, too. This guy's not so bad. He just dodges attacks. <laughs> His evil cyborgicness, or whatever is it is. Cyborgic? What was it? I don't even know. I glanced at it briefly. See, he has like this little stall moment where his staff stops working, and that's when you peck him in the nose. Once again, awesome music from Grant Kirkhope here. See, there's nothing to it. You just want to make sure you jump and move with each attack. Because, see, they're starting to get a homing effect after you lay a couple hits on them. They come at you first, and then they steer and go to your next position. And it's very easy to get hit by those if you don't know that. Or you don't catch on quick enough. But he's almost down. I like when he goes on top of the chair. 
Just looks cool. Two more to go. I think the next one takes off his face. Ah, crud, you see how that one was just chasing me? All right, all that's left is your little skirt there, buddy. I calculate my chances of stopping you are now minimal. Jeez. I like that boss fight, though. I remember it used to be my favorite. That and the two dragons of Hailfire Peaks, but having just done it now, there's really nothing to the, either of those bosses. I think the hardest boss is probably Weldar. <gasps> Terry was a joke. Mr. Patch is... He's not hard. I don't know how I died on him. Alright, a lot of aimless roaming, but outside of the fake mumbo skull, here's a flight pad. Let's see if we can plant the beans. I think that should be our next thing. I know there's the one right over here. And I don't remember where the second bean patch is. Wanna buy some magic beans? They're all the rage. Alright, Lagflower, where are you taking me? Mumbo? No, well, kind of. Where's the globo for this? Is it down here? It is not. I think it might be in the main cavern or something. These are questions. Uh, I don't know where that flower takes me. Is it behind Mumbo Skull? Nothing's on top. Cool that you can come up here, though. I don't remember this world. Everything's crazy, and I'm going kind of insane. Wow, all those feathers and not a single red one. Whose fault is it? The guy holding the control stick. Alright, listen for the Globo. I hate these enemies, dude. Yeah, I hear him. He's over here somewhere. That guy's wielding a sausage. Get out of here with your 2D cash register nonsense. Aha! I found you, faker. Yeah, remember that game? Man, what's in there? I think that leads to the green area that I don't want to go to. Hmm. Where does this go? I don't know, man. Cloud Cuckoo Land. What can you do? I spent today, when I first woke up, I was just sitting outside because we had a really bad storm. Oh, this is for later. This is a solo Kazooie thing. Yeah, but we had a bad storm last night, and it cooled off this morning. That, like, the morning was nice. There was a nice breeze. So I just like to sit outside. I was there with my sister's dogs, and I hate this world. You're gonna make that, Pancho. You're gonna make it. <laughs> What's over here, pray tell? I don't know where I'm going. I know I could go get Mumbo, but I haven't planted the second bean. You don't want to get Mumbo until you plant all the beans. At least there's a note. Seriously, man, those screens take forever to load. Aha! A secret passage. No, I think this is a uh, pterodactyl land jiggy. Yeah, all the water goes down. It's for Dippy the dinosaur. Look at it train. I wonder how long it takes to animate and code that one scene alone. It really kind of does look like Isle Delfino, doesn't it? Just a little less dolphin shaped. Something happened to that dolphin. But yeah, this is Dippy's hole right behind the train station switch. I never went and talked to him. Well, yeah, he's in that hole, and I think there's a joke where they're like, "It's not water's not just gonna fall from the sky or something." Yippee, my pool's full of water. Where did it all come from? Drink up, Dippy. Mmm, tastes heavenly. Well, it did come from the clouds, Dippy. Did it? You said it wouldn't just drop from the sky. I lied. Just drink it and be happy. Oh, I am. Here, take my odd-shaped gold tooth in exchange. How convenient that every character has a jiggy. I see the safe. What's over here? A 
of course you can't make the jumps. You can't do crap in this chamber. Except be confused. There's jello. Wait. There's a clockwork switch under there. Hold on, I could launch an egg. I don't even have to fly over that way. See, it wants you to grip grab over there, but nobody's got time for that. Away with you, clockwork kazooie. Ah, crud, I was hoping to get my ammo back. Behind the jello wall. Sweet, that's two out of four of the safe combination numbers. Number nine. So sublime. That was from a VHS tape I used to watch all the time as like a little five-year-old. It was like learning how to count. And there were penguins behind the number nine door. And they would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know where I'm going! I hate this world so much. Give me an egg. Thank you. What's over here? Did we ever come down here before? There's jello. That means there's probably a thing in there. Da -da 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 -da. The music is nice. As always. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There is a thing. This is underneath the jello. Go, Clockwork Egg. Heck yeah, dude. Three out of four. Only one more to go. And then Super Stash is mine. Take a guess at what's behind the safe. 19 something 4. Gee, I wonder what it is. There's a lot of things in this game that use the same date. Seriously, man, the loads. There's no other N64 game that does it like this. Wait a minute, is that George Ice Cube? George! Mildred was looking for you. Hey, young man, I'm George Ice Cube, stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking on the icy side of Hellfire Peaks with my wife Mildred when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights now. I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you can just give a little push. Don't blame me, George. <laughs> that sound again. The lava said, no, wrong side. Tell Mildred I love. Well, you can tell her yourself because they're both dead. But now that boiling hot water is just cold enough to maybe drain into a swimming pool that's a little bit too cold. And it'll warm it right up. And it'll be the final jiggy of all things. We did the trash can. Where the heck is the stupid bean plant? That thing is trying to get me. Wait a minute. No, that's the third event of the package room. The gold chamber, that's for later too. The cheese, that's for Banjo. Wait a minute. I think this is where the bean is though. That's what, yeah, because this is for Banjo. Get out of here, don't even think about it, grunty eyeballs. I wanna be the dude that recorded that sound though. I don't know. You ever watch like, uh, extended little behind the scene things of movies how they create sound effects for some things the sound effects teams are awesome i would love a job like that that's the thing you got to get a job working on a project and being creative and stuff every other job sucks let's try this again springy shoes take the wall this time i didn't do this last time up and up the stairs we go there we go this should lead to exactly what i want to do Yes, yes, this is what I needed. So many processes just to get thing, this world ready for Solo Banjo. Although, you could probably make that jump with Super Banjo and the double jump. But just in case, we got the floating creature. This is for... Ah! Kazooie, I hate you. What am I doing? Duh hut. Is this, this is the real mumbo. Yes, the red door is the real mumbo. Let's just do mumbo stuff, because that's all I can think of to do. Fast forwarding a little bit, because these lows are stupid. Alright, mumbo, this is your last roll in this entire game before we hang it up. There's a fake one. That's how you know the real mumbo is here. One last time, skull boy, let's do it. Oh, we've got a globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo. 
Man, I could go for some more chips and salsa. That's like one thing I could eat all day long. Chips and salsa and beer put me outside by the beach, and I will gladly bum around for the rest of my life. That's living. I mean, I, I like it. I'm lost again! Wait a minute, have I been up here? That's right, this leads to, I think this leads to the mumbo pad. Cause this leads to the Kazooie race for later, get out of here. Yeah, and then... Don't, oh my gosh, don't do it, I hate you, I hate everything. Mumbo, it's not your fault. It's these stupid 2D cash registers. This world is a bunch of crap. But yeah, this should lead to the only Mumbo Pad. Because Mumbo's ability is pretty unique. Get out of here. Um. I can't stand waiting for those things anymore. Hey, crud, how much patience should we lose? Aren't you supposed to get more patience as you get older? That bee, dude. He's asking to do exactly what the candy cane man did. Get out of here. Run! Okay. Thank God for Super Banjo. I hope it works too. Rain dance, the last celebratory thing of Mumbo. Look at all the rainbow colors celebrating his role in the game. But this is why you wanted to plant the beans first, because it does three things. Assuming you plant it, it makes a rainbow, and that's how you get to the pot of gold and have some lucky charms. Can you name your lucky charms? I'm talking the 90s lucky charms, not any of this unicorn crap that they've been doing. And then the two beans grow into bean stalks. And that's how you get to banjo specific jiggies. Hearts, stars, horseshoes, clovers, and blue moons. Pots of golden rainbow and the red balloon. Those are your lucky charms. Ubadaka. Yep, it disappeared. Good job, Mumbo. Now we all just die because it's the fastest way back to the skull. I'm going to show him sitting in his chair. Get out of my house. Good job, Mumbo. You were awesome. It was great to play as you, as in this Banjo-Tooie feature. Sit down and take a load off, buddy. Thanks for all your hard work. All right, I finally made my way back up here. Let's open the pot of gold. Get out of here. And then I think we'll call it quits, because this world is getting on my noise. Do, 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 do. 20 seconds. Well, I can do that. Run across the rainbow. Can you stand on a rainbow? Of course not. It's just light. Wouldn't it be weird one day if the entire physics of the world just flipped and just oddball things like you could stand on clouds? Oh, yeah, this is kind of neat. I like how it requires you to put every egg type. Well, I guess you gotta be accurate. And your reward is one of those nests of infinite eggs, and that triggers a minigame. This is actually kind of a tough minigame, if I recall. And I think we both kind of liked it. And I said, well, that's one thing we've got. Breakfast at Tiffany's, dude. Deep blue something. And there we go. All right, last roll is Dragon Kazooie, and then we're putting her away. Yes, the pot of gold challenge. Man, Grunty's voice is annoying. 90. So this is another, you can get two prizes in one thing. Let's do it. Three, two, one, infinite eggs. All you gotta do is hit all the jiggies on the wall. So get the horizontal aim right and just scroll the screen in a way that seems appropriate. Fast enough. Yeah, this is actually beautiful. I hope it doesn't have to be faster. Then once you get the majority of them, just go down, go down to the next row. It is possible to hit every single one. I think there's a hundred total. But I don't think there's a reward for doing that. There might be a bonus message from Grunty, but... What did I need? 90? 10 seconds. I think... Oh, dude, I got this. Wow! I remember this being a lot harder. Wait, I might be able to get a ball. Oh, come on. What the heck? Why didn't I hit that one? Aw, oh, I could have gotten all 100. Wow, that was a lot easier than I remember it being. Well, that's okay. There's the Cheeto page and a Jiggy.
Nice. You might have won all my prizes, but I bet you can't hit all 100. Nah, I don't care. Get lost then. This game's too good for you anyway. All right. Ugh. 80 jiggies. 10 more to go, man. 10 more. But we will continue with that next time. Let's see how we're doing. 3 out of 10. Yeah. Cloud cuckoo land for you. But next time, hopefully, we'll get a better grip on this. Thanks for watching. See you then.